Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film these weekly Solo Trip Podcast episodes. We are talking about all things metaphysics, spirituality and the occult and so much more. And for this video, it's kind of inspired because I have been like, my mood has been so up and down lately. And I feel like with everything that's going on right now in the collective and the fact that we're like in isolation and we're all having to stay at home, I'm definitely feeling it on so many levels. And even before this, because I always would kind of isolate myself anyway, like my life literally has not changed at all because I already work from home and stuff. So like I'm used to it it's my comfort zone but then at the same time like I don't know there's just so much like fear and panicking and so much emotion going on right now that as well as doing my own internal work I'm noticing my emotions kind of fluctuating so even though my life hasn't really changed I know it has for a lot of other people and we're all having to obviously face ourselves and a lot of people don't know how to be comfortable with themselves or like they're bored they don't know what to do because we've spent so long having to run around and go to work and go here there and everywhere you know that a lot of people don't know how to actually just be still and just be at home and just chill and spend time with yourself and spend time with your family and stuff like that. Whereas that is kind of something that I literally would do every day anyway. So I am very much used to it. So that has inspired this video talking about flow state and surrender because I feel like this is something, at least for me, this is like one of the hardest things that I have tried to integrate or like, what's the word? I guess integrate or like, I don't know what the word is. We'll go with integrate. <laughs> this is like one of the hardest things that I've tried to do is to just surrender and like trust and trust in your path and trust in like the way that everything is unfolding, you know, just, oh my God, it's really hard to trust the divine flow of life. <laughs> I literally don't know how to word this shit. But anyway, so I started journaling um, the other day, like I journal most days. But when I was journaling the other day, I decided to do a bit of parts work. I don't know if you have heard of that before, but Till Swan, um, I think she founded it, maybe. I'm not sure if it's like actually her method. I think it is where you kind of access different parts of yourself because we all have parts of us that are sad, parts of us that fear certain things, parts of us that want to do something and then there's another part of us that doesn't want to do it, you know, like we all have multiple aspects to ourself and she has a technique of a way to access those different parts to try and like unify them and bring them closer together so that they're not like completely opposing in opposite directions sort of thing. So I wanted to do a bit of that just to kind of access the fear that I was feeling or access like the uncertainty that I've been feeling so I was doing that and then I realized that it all comes back to surrender mm -hmm. this wonderful little phrase <laughs> because there's like parts of me that um feel like I need to just oh this top is really annoying me like these straps are falling down so for me it comes down to like control because I feel like we have been conditioned so so much to be doing constantly like to be running around to be working to be active to be moving to be like to never rest and never take care of yourself we don't really it's not really like socially acceptable to put your health first like if you feel sick oftentimes people will have to just go to work anyway you know so like it's not really a normalized thing to actually feel your emotions before you have to go and do something you know like if you're having a bad day you still have to get up and go to work anyway you still have to get up and go and do what you've got to do you've still got to take care of your kids you've still got to cook food like you've got to do all of these things even though you might not feel like it and I'm realizing with this whole isolation situation, <laughs> that sounded funny, with this whole isolation situation right now, that it's actually okay to put those things first, but I didn't know why I didn't want to. I had to really do this parts work to uncover 
why I was putting off like working out, why I was putting off meal prepping, why I didn't want to go and sit outside. You know, I would spend weeks not even going outside, which is absolutely ridiculous because you need sunlight, activate your DNA and all of that kind of stuff. And I wasn't doing it. So I did a lot of um, self awareness, like self, what's the word? When you like go internally, you know, a bit of shadow work and try to uncover where this is coming from. And I definitely think that this is like a collective issue and not just me, where we tend to have this belief system of we need to work hard in order to achieve things. We need to go out and get it. We need to strive for it. We need to put in so much work, so many hours. You need to constantly focus on this thing that you want like there's just so much pressure and force and push towards things and there's no like letting go and just surrendering and allowing it to come to you allowing yourself to be the magnet rather than constantly having to force you know so in this wonderful little parts work thing um you should definitely check out Tilsa One's videos on it because it's really really powerful and you can uncover so many parts of yourself and no it is not always nice or fun but it is really really like an incredible tool to use and yeah I just kind of uncovered that I wasn't even being present with my emotions and I sit here talking about that all the time I'm like you need to pay attention you need to sit with your emotion you need to listen to it and then I realized that actually I've kind of been distracting myself from my own and I keep going on my phone looking at social media like putting something on on YouTube just to look outside of myself you know instead of internally so I do think we have a bit of a control issue in the world right now where we feel like we need to know everything we need to have the exact answers right then and there we need to have everything like completely planned out and know exactly what's going to happen and when this isolation thing is going to stop and all of this kind of thing you know and now we're actually being forced to just sit at home <laughs> with ourselves and a lot of people obviously are out of work now and stuff like that so like we're literally being forced to just be <laughs> not to do anything but to be and now you can choose what you want to do you know like you can start that hobby that thing that you've always wanted to do that passion project now we actually have the time because we're not even allowed to go to work you know and even though I'm still working because I work at home and like my circumstances haven't changed because I was always isolated, but I'm still, I feel like I'm still facing that same lesson of having to look at that and be like, why? Why do we feel like we always need to be moving and doing and being productive 24 seven to the point where you don't want to take half an hour out of your day to just meditate or take half an hour out of your day to go and stretch you know like I sit at a computer all day but I don't stretch so I don't know it's making me kind of question our routines and like the normalized routines because it's so important to actually take care of your body and get in tune with yourself and also surrender to the whole path because we're never gonna know all of the answers or exactly where things are gonna go exactly where they're gonna be like that's the whole point of this life is that we're under amnesia we don't remember we have no idea you know <laughs> instead of trying to like control it all and act like we need to have all of the answers we're not going to so yeah this is just something i'm kind of internalizing and i'm also realizing a lot about the different aspects of ourselves that we kind of avoid and run from and the one thing that I'm really uncovering is that like I've always been so aware of the fact that there's negative parts to me and I'm sure a lot of you can resonate with that like you know that there's a part of you that feels upset about something and you can just kind of push it to the back of your mind you know like we're always aware of those negative ones and sometimes they take over and the negative one is the only one that we feel, you know, like that's how we fall into depression. That part of ourselves has taken over and we've like pushed away all of the rest of the parts that we have. But then I also realise that we have higher aspects of ourselves, And it only just dawned on me how, how like interconnected they all are. Because when we talk about a higher self or we talk about source or God or whatever, 
it sounds like a man in the sky. Like it sounds like something so separate from you, especially because I wasn't raised in religion. Like I was raised completely atheist. So like the idea of being connected to something outside of me or like another even another person felt really weird and really like what the fuck do you mean <laughs> like we're separate what do you mean we're connected but like when you think about your higher self and parts of yourself like just like you can feel those negative there's also those positive and those positive are not just good emotions but they're also outside of space and time like they're also parts of you that aren't incarnated into this vessel and into this 3d reality like there are parts of you that know everything they know all of your life they know your past and your future they know it all like they see the full bigger picture you know so the fact that you can feel those negative parts of you, the fact that you know that there's a part of you that's scared to go and do that thing should show you, or at least like I'm starting to realise that it should show me the fact that there's also parts of me that and parts of you that are beyond this reality and that we're so connected to those parts that you can tap into that information and tap into what they know just by being open to it, by surrendering this goddamn word, by like literally hearing yourself and being still with yourself so that these sparks of ideas can come to you, you know? So yeah, <laughs> I'm just sharing my full revelation with you because I spent a good hour doing a bit of parts work and like, it just dawned on me how interconnected we are with all parts of ourselves. And it's only when I started doing it that I realized like while I'm in it, exactly what that means, you know? So yeah, it's just something really powerful that you should definitely try and do some parts work and like really experience it for yourself because I don't know, I feel like that's like one of the keys to healing all of the trauma and all of the like heavy dense emotional baggage that we tend to carry around with us you know so I think this is something that we're all being forced into like a collective lesson of how to actually slow down and prioritize yourself and your own mental health your own mind your own body like really being forced to just rest and recharge and figure out what we're passionate about figure out what we want to do you know I really feel like maybe a lot of people will even have job changes because of everything that's going on right now and not just because we're like literally becoming out of work but because I don't know I just think it's kind of a bit of a a bit of an awakening to who you actually are because we have no choice but to be by ourselves and like be around our immediate family so it's like what resonates with you now? What do you actually want? Because we don't have to be in this rat race if it doesn't feel right, you know? You can be down one career path and you can change to another. Even though it doesn't mean it will be easy, it's still possible and it's still an option. And oftentimes we close ourselves off from these options because we're so invested and so in it and so feeling like we have to do everything, you know? Have to do things that we don't want to do when we really don't. And also like our life is already laid out, you know, you can tap into the Akashic Records at any time that you choose. We just obviously have to be completely open to it and have good intent and stuff so that we can like get the information that we need sort of thing. So even though we are in real uncertain times right now, I do think it's important to just trust in the path and how things are moving because we do know that this is a collective awakening. We do know that everything happens is a natural progression and a natural shift, even though there are the opposite polarity of like all of the negative things, we know what they're doing and all of that kind of stuff, but it's still a part of the natural shift and the natural ascension. So Sometimes it's just important to just let go and stop trying to have all the answers and just be present in the moment and enjoy what you're doing right in front of you, you know, and then let things unfold naturally and then the answers will come when, when it's time, when you're supposed to get them. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I really, really appreciate you. And I will be back next week with another episode. Don't forget to leave me any 
topics, anything that you're going through, any kind of um, subjects that you want me to talk about, definitely leave me a comment down below on YouTube or you can DM me on Instagram or you can text me. All of my info will be in the description box below as well as links to my music. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye. Oh, yeah, I think you like me Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in that white tee Oh, yeah, I think you like me Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in that white tee Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like, me, my range all white Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like, me, my range all white